Hello? Ma? What? Hi, I'm Miss Pillows, here for you and your tatas. Pumping isn't intuitive. When they told you about motherhood, you probably didn't envision tubes and weird pumping techno sounds. But ladies, you gave birth. You can do this. Here's what you do and you don't do when you pump. Can you recreate the sound of a breast pump? It's like whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> you think it sounds like Is a baby getting the same amount when it's feeding as when you're pumping? So in most cases, it, it's somewhat approximate, but for some people, if they're super stressed out, they might not get as much out, or if they're thinking about something else. So we always say, when you're pumping, try to think about your baby. Maybe you have a video on your phone that you're looking at. Maybe you bring something in that smells like your baby, and that's gonna help you relax a little and get a little more milk out. So how do you pick a pump that's right for you? So it really depends what your needs are. Are you going back to work full time? You're gonna be gone nine hours a day. You want a double electric pump that's gonna be able to pump both sides efficiently. You have a baby that's born early, a premature baby, it's not sucking that well, and you really need to stimulate. You're gonna want a hospital grade electric pump. Then there's a hand pump. The hand pump is amazing. It goes in your purse, it doesn't have any electric. You stick it on and you can go like this. If you do a kind of job where you barely get a break, then whenever you go to pee, you're gonna get a few quick pumps in. If you're traveling, there are car adapters. So if you have a long commute, you can definitely be pumping in the car, which is great. How long do you think a pumping session lasts? About an hour. Holy mackerel! You would be pumping all day, every day! So how often should you be pumping when you're away from your baby? We generally think about pumping as replacing a breastfeeding session if you wanna keep at regular milk supply levels. So it depends how often you are breastfeeding with your baby. When you're away from your baby, you want to replace that amount. So if you're gone for nine hours and you are breastfeeding every three hours, you're going to want to pump approximately every three hours. And how long should you be pumping for? So an actual pumping session, usually let's say 15 to 20 minutes, not too much longer because it can start to hurt and be uncomfortable. The best thing is actually more frequent shorter pumps. That's how babies typically eat. So if you can grab a five minute pump every hour, that might be better for you than waiting three hours and pumping for 20 minutes. How many pieces do you think there are in a breast pump? Well, there's this, there's the tube, there's the that. I would say five. So that's three. I'm gonna throw another one on there and say four, five. Five to 10. Is it 10, really? There's a lot of parts. Oh my God. Bells and whistles. It's a lot of work. How do you know that the flange is the right size for the nipple? Yeah. Then the nipple should be drawn in a little bit. Some of the areola might be in there. It shouldn't hurt. It should feel pleasant. If your nipple and areola are really getting rubbed against the flange and you're like feeling all this friction, it's probably too small for you. And if it's too big, it'll be loose. And you can go on your breast pump website. They literally have measurements of nipples. Like who knew? You can be like, I have a 22 millimeter nipple. Who knew? How often should you clean and sterilize your pump and the materials? Breast pumps do need to be cleaned frequently, but the best thing you can do is immediately wash them in hot soap water um, and then you could just put them in the fridge actually and store it for the day and then you don't have to sterilize it all day um, you know if you can run it through your dishwasher at night if you get one of those sterilizing microwave bags that's helpful so, so you don't have to sterilize it before every single time oh. unless you have an immunocompromised baby or something like that and they've advised you that you need to sterilize everything all the time Is it legal as a boss to make a woman pump in the bathroom? No. No. Absolutely not. That is illegal. America's getting there, yeah? We're getting there. We're not there. You can't do that to a woman. It's freedom now, bruh. Definitely. She should be able to pump wherever she is. That's right. What if you have a boss that makes you pump in the bathroom? Mm. It's mostly illegal now. Okay. So <laughs> if you are finding yourself being forced to pump in a bathroom, it depends on how large your, your 
place of employment is, but you should find out the rules. And most people should have access to a mother's room, a new parent's room, a breastfeeding room. And I definitely encourage people to ask their HR um, people in the office when they're pregnant, you know, what can you provide for me for pumping? I need to have a clean room that's not a bathroom. I need to be able to shut the door and have privacy. What do you say to a woman when she says, I need to go pump at work? Go for it. I would say enjoy that hour off. A whole hour. <laughs> a whole hour. I wish I could do that. It ain't that fun to do it. Oh, I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. Pump it up. Oh, yeah. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pumping doesn't have to suck. You know what I mean. Get a pump that fits your life and support your fellow pumpers at work. It's the law for your employer to provide a space that is not a bathroom. If you don't have what you need, speak up. It's your right. I'm Miss Pillows here with self-care for growing a pair. Ta-tas for now.